Rock Hard, The Rise and Fall of Sexual Detergent is on my IMDb page. Is it a porn? No, I wish. <laughs> no. Do you? <laughs> What movie or show inspired you to be in musicals? The earliest one I can remember was The Sound of Music, which was the one that I would watch. Well, I would honestly watch like the first half before the Nazis came, um, like a lot. I would watch it like every day after school. Julie Andrews was, you know, a huge hero of mine. Is Maria a role that you would want to play at some point? Yes. <laughs> just now, that just, just happened. Now. <laughs> just in. Oh, that'd be wonderful. What inspired you to be in musicals, David? I think my friend writing a part for me in a musical was what did that. I'm not a musical theater guy. I had no experience, but Hamilton's the only one I've ever done, and I assume the only one I'll ever do. Wait, why? I don't know. Why do you it, say that? It was a very specific thing that got me into that world, you know, having a genius friend. That's really what it was. What is the IMDb credit that you consider your own breakthrough? I was on Bucket and Skinner's Adventure. It's one of my first acting roles. It was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember about that role? Like having an out-of-body experience of being in front of a camera on a TV set and just being like, this is truly insane. And being surrounded by children and being like, why are they all so confident? I should be a child is what I thought was thinking. You guys are unbelievable. Sometimes someone will send me my IMDb page and I'm shocked by the stuff that you guys have on there. Rock Hard, The Rise and Fall of Sexual Detergent is on my IMDb page, which like, it shouldn't be. Wait a minute. <laughs> is it a porn? No, I wish. <laughs> No. Do you? <laughs> no, no, it's actually a really funny short film made by some great people in San Francisco. I'm actually very glad that it's on there, but it is also like, oh, this is also part of my career that like nobody knows about. I think, yeah. That's amazing. I've done a lot of things. I've been in a lot of places. I, I got no regrets. Breakthrough is the new reality singing competition podcast series. David, who would you rather have on Breakthrough? Thomas Jefferson, Marquis de Lafayette, or Sebastian the Crab? Sebastian the Crab, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he's got more to say. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian's particular take on the world is super complex. I think he would really open up on a podcast because nobody ever actually wants to listen to him. He's so like used to not being paid attention to that I think he would really like blossom in, in that format. <laughs> <laughs>